Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a few thrift store flips. The first item I'm gonna flip is this box. I'm going to turn it into um, a, like a charging station where I can hide all my cords. And this was $1.97. The second item is this wall decor. Um, uh, I don't know if you, I guess it's farmhouse. I always think a farmhouse is black and white, but I don't know. This is this is pretty ugly, but we'll see what we can turn it into. This was $4.99. The next item that I um, picked up yesterday was this little um, footstool. So I'm going to, I got a plan for this. This was uh, $3.97. Let's get this flipping started. A heat gun works great to remove those stickers. You just use a scraper and they usually just scrape right off. The piece of fabric was just hot glued on. It was easy to just tear it off, but all that extra glue, I used the heat gun to heat it up and then I scraped off the glue. It worked pretty well. This thing had some weird nails sticking out of it, so I needed to remove the nails and fill the holes. I used Durham's water putty, and it's really nice to have on hand, especially when you live in a place like Las Vegas, because everything dries out so fast. And you just use equal parts of the powder and water, and that makes the putty. Okay, that's after one coat and it's supposed to look bad. I'm just priming it. This isn't even the final color, but I don't have a whole lot of the color I'm gonna paint it. So I want it primed well. Now on the side, that is two coats and I'm just gonna prime it with two coats. Here I'm using the IOD Mold Classic Elements, and I'm also using the IOD Air Clay. I don't know what happened to the footage, but when you use a mold, you want to put a little cornstarch in first before you put in the clay, so that when you go to release the clay from the mold, it comes right out. And a section of the mold didn't come out, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna glue it to the front of this and I just glue the piece on and you can't even tell when it's all done. I put painter's tape over the molds until the glue dried. And then I finally got to paint it in Dixie Belle Peony. I love this color. Can you do bright colors? Let me know in the comments below. And then after it was all painted, I sealed it with DIY liquid patina. Did you think I was going to reupholster the top? I used upholstery cleaner and it actually came out surprisingly well. So for now, I'm going to leave it. 
But one day I'll probably look at it and say, I hate it, and then I'll recover it. Watch to the end so you can see how I staged it. For the next flip, I used IOD Transfer Bricante, JRV Stencil in Grain Sack, and DIY Paint in Hay Sailor. The tool I'm using here, I think it's an upholstery staple remover. When we all had to stay home during the pandemic and I watched YouTube videos, I ordered so many products and sometimes by the time they arrived, I didn't even know what they were for. So I hope I'm using this thing correctly and then I'm taking um, needle nose pliers and then pulling out the staple. Maybe if I was using this product correctly, the staple remover, I, I, it would get the staple out completely. If you know what that thing is or how to use it, leave a comment below. I would love to know. When using a mineral-based paint like DIY paint, it's always good to have a spray bottle on hand to spray the item that you're painting because that way it'll go on smoother and you'll have a lot less brush strokes. Also, I don't know if you could see inside where I just painted, right inside the little, um, whatever this thing is, the paint goes on way darker and then when it dries, it really lightens up. But when you put the sealer on at the end, then it'll darken it back up. And when you're using a mineral-based paint like DIY, you always need to use a sealer or if the paint gets wet, it will come off. But it will also wash out of your clothes if you're a messy painter like me. Now I'm using the JRV Vintage Stencil in Grain Sack, and I always try to tape down a stencil if I have some place to tape it, if there's room, because that way you just ensure that it's not gonna move. And this is kind of a, this is a long stencil, and it's easy for those little lines to move. So taping it down helps to make sure you don't get bleed through when you're um, making the lines. And here I am using the IOD ink in black. There's something very satisfying when you remove the stencil and you see those nice crisp black lines. I want this wall decor to be a little rustic looking so here I am taking a wet paper towel and I'm wet distressing it to just give it a little aged look. Now I'm applying the sealant and I'm using DIY liquid patina. Then I went over all the places that I wet distressed with Annie Sloan dark wax. Now I'm applying my IOD transfer to a piece of drop cloth have you ever tried putting a transfer on fabric? It looked so good when it was done. Before you completely remove your transfer, you want to make sure that everything has been applied. So you can see here I had to go back and I had to re-rub and everything was fine. I couldn't decide if I was going to use the chicken wire again. It really has a good look to it. It's all rusty looking and stuff. But then when I finally decided what I was going to put on the drop cloth and it was a chicken, I figure it's going to look farmhouse, even if it's blue. 
And so I decided to use the chicken wire again, and I really liked it when it was all done. When I stapled the drop cloth on, I started at the top, I made sure it was straight, then I did the bottom, made sure it was straight again, and then I went to side to side. If I was selling this piece, I would have finished it off much nicer, but it was just for me, so it was okay that I used a piece of cardboard with my address on it. Watch to the end to see how I staged this. Here is one coat of Hay Sailor. And, and just like the white one, it's supposed to look this first. The first coat always looks this bad. For the charging station, I used IOD molds, He Loves Me, and Trimmings too for embellishments. Here is some video, finally, that shows you how to use the cornstarch with the molds. You just put a little cornstarch in, pour out the extra, you warm the clay up in your hands just a little bit, and then it can nicely go into the mold. Once you get the mole all filled, then you're gonna take your thumb and you're just gonna take off all the extra clay, make sure it's nice and flat, and then you just turn it over and it comes right out of the mold. All the flowers that you see here are from the He Loves Me mold, and I forgot to turn the camera on when I made those molds. Here I'm using Soft Southern Strokes Antiquing Wax in Barnwood Gray but I didn't really like it when I was done with that. So I then went over it with white wax and I still wasn't thrilled. I just didn't like it, it was just boring. So you'll see in a minute what I finally did and then I loved it. Since I had never used this attachment that you put on the drill that makes a hole, I did have some supervision. I just wanted to make sure I was doing it right. Should I be through? No. Should I be pushing harder? Maybe. Straight? No. No. Oh! There you geez. go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! How do I get it? Oh, it's hot. <clears throat> ah. Here you can see what it looked like after the white wax. It wasn't good. So then I used liquid patina in Golden Ticket and I started to love it. Wait till you see it at the end.
here's a picture of the grommet that I installed. I got it from Home Depot and it was like five bucks. Leave a comment below and let me know which flip you like the best. I think my favorite was the charging station just because I hated it so much in the beginning, but then I loved it at the end. But let me know which one you like. Thanks for watching.